right, Sal. Uh, you know, I've done this with John Stutzman before, Lee Rope, Roper over there. I've asked him, you know, you're getting to watch live wrestling as I'm talking to you, but what are you looking for right now when guys are, you know, scrapping right now, doing live wrestling here at C3 in your home state? Uh, you know, I'm looking for guys who are definitely aggressive, you know, definitely high level of wrestling, good wrestling IQ, seeing how they uh, wrestle in certain situations, and um, hand fighting. You know, it's definitely a big thing, especially at the high school level. Guys who are good at hand fighting usually have higher success when they get to the college level. You know, we're seeing a good bit of it right now. Um, some guys are scrapping pretty hard, so it's pretty exciting to watch. You know, like you guys come down here and you'll see a guy, you know, and you're just starting this, you're just into the game, right? You're, you're months into it, right? Yeah. Um, it, it, when you see a guy, this probably hasn't happened yet, but you see a guy you like, but then you see this transcript. And it just isn't, it isn't brown material. Your Ivy League school, you probably need like a 28 to a 30 just to get in, you know, consideration. Uh, how, how do you guys try and try and help guys along with something like that? So we definitely, you know, if there's someone that we really want, we'll try to work with them, help them, uh, you know, reach their academic uh, standard for Brown, to get into Brown. So, you know, we look at their classes they're taking, um, some of their the SAT scores, ATC scores, and how, what they need to achieve to get into Brown. You know, it's definitely a high standard and a, a high caliber academic score to get into. So, you know, we definitely are looking for guys that are looking to win a national championship and, you know, get a degree from, you know, a national championship caliber school. You know, such as, you know, you go there and it, it's a different place. Providence is it's definitely like the, I would say the, the most, uh, I guess, liberal of the of the eight Ivies. You know, it's different, right, when you get there, but guys can be hard nosed. You've had All-Americans in the last, you know, couple years. What do you think you guys, what's the goal of the guy? You know, you can win the Eastern uh, EIWA. What do you think you guys can, you know, an honest number of guys you can get to the NCAA tournament? Six, seven, eight, uh, nine? I'm hoping we get about six guys to the NCAA tournament, you know. I think that's a good goal for us, you know, especially, you know, from where we were last year, you know, only having one guy qualify to get six, you know, there's definitely a huge gain from there, and you see the progress going. Um, I think we have a really good team right now. Um, I'm excited to see we had a great freshman recruiting class. These guys are hungry. I see them in the room every day, you know, just constantly developing their wrestling skills and, uh, you know, grinding, pushing themselves in, uh, in live goes and in, uh, in runs and lifts and everything. So. I think, you know, six guys is definitely doable, and, you know, I think we're definitely going to be a different team this year. All right. Biggest thing I hear about going from a coach or a wrestler to a coach is you have no control. You haven't been a season yet, right? So you don't know the total totality of that, right? I'm right? Yeah. Definitely. You don't know that yet, but, yeah. but like... I can see it a little bit. Are you missing it yet? Are you, are you getting the itch yet? Oh, definitely. I mean, I think I think definitely miss it, and that's why I love wrestling, you know? I love wrestling with these guys, you know? I don't want to miss a, a, a live practice, you know, because, you know, it keeps me so close to the sport. And then it can kind of, you know, teach guys some things that, you know, I have to share. Especially, like, you can tell someone a million times something, but when you kind of do it to them, they can see, oh, wow, that works. Or, or wow, you know, coach has a mentality that, you know, this style or this approach to something, you know, it, it works. It's successful. If I do it this way, I will have success. So I think that's a good thing, you know, having, you know, young coaches kind of being able to compete with the rest. In the room. All right, you're in the south. You're, in, you're down in the south having some sweet tea in Blacksburg. Now you're back up on the east coast. You know, you're in New England yeah. in Providence. Uh, what's it been like, like culture shock wise? It's probably culture shock going to Blacksburg, my guess is New yeah. Jersey. So one thing, your, your school's 10 minutes from here? What's that? Yeah, my high school? Yeah, 10 down, minutes. Down ten Bosco? 10 minutes away from here, yeah. Right down the road. Uh, one thing about Providence, the food is definitely a lot better than it was in Blacksburg. I will say that, you know. Uh, more of a city atmosphere, so it's a little different than being in Blacksburg, College Town. Uh, it was a good culture shock, you know, at first. But I definitely, you know, being in Blacksburg when I was, you know, 18 years old, coming from New Jersey, but it was a great experience, you know. That place was definitely a home for me for five years, and I had great people, and, uh, you know, I guess I could say I got um, a very great experience from there. All right. You got anything else for me? No, nothing else. No, I think this was a great clinic and a great opportunity. I think more guys, you know, you can get uh, recognized by participating in this. All right, so thanks for the time. Enjoy the live minutes.